If you love cats, then you've come to the right place. We're about to look at everything there is to know about them in The Sims 4, and we'll start by looking at the basics. Cats can be made and added to a family directly in Create a Sim, and they have three life stages, being a kitten, adult, and elder. They can also be adopted from the home section of your phone. Choosing to adopt a cat starts a mini event whereby you can select up to three cats to have visit your home, and you'll then be able to interact with them. And if during their visit you connect with one, then you can choose to adopt it for 200 simoleons. If you think 200 simoleons is a little steep, then no that you can come across some stray cats in various worlds, particularly in Brindleton Bay. And if you befriend a stray cat, then you'll be able to adopt it into your household free of charge. So you've got a cat, but how are you going to care for it? As a bare minimum, you're going to want a food bowl and a litter box. While you can just use a food bowl, I'd recommend getting the programmatic pet feeders which you can stock up and then schedule to automatically refill the bowl every couple of hours. When it comes to litter boxes, know that they'll generally need to be cleaned from time to time. However, the Litter Laser self-cleaning litter box will laser away the poop, which is very handy because no one wants to deal with poop. While not essential, I'd also highly recommend a bed or a cat tree for your cat to sleep in, and if your cat's bed doesn't come with a scratching post, then I'd recommend getting one of them for your cat as well. Finally, a few toys for your cat to play with is always nice to have too. While sadly you can't play as a cat and find out exactly how they're doing, you will be able to see what mood they are in by hovering over their icon at the bottom left. But know that as long as you're providing your cat or cats with everything that they need, then you'll find that they generally take care of themselves. That is, unless they get sick. From time to time, your cats can become sick, and if this happens, you're going to want to cure their illness and make them better again. One method is to use a get better table to examine your pet before uncovering their illness and administering a treatment. But know that some illnesses require you to use the surgery machine to fix. Treating an animal yourself will train your sim's veterinary skill. If your sim isn't able to cure their cat's illness, then they can defer to the cone of shame treatment, which is guaranteed to fix your cat's ailment. However, it also won't make them all too happy. Alternatively, you can actually take your cat to the vet and get them checked in to get treated. While this is a good option, I believe the best option is to have your sim access a pet vending machine that's located on an unowned vet clinic. Provided that no one owns the vet clinic that the vending machine is on, then you can buy lots of things from it. And this includes a wellness treat for 50 simoleons which will cure your pet's sickness. Honestly, I like to just purchase a couple of these and keep them in my sim's inventory, and then feed them to my pet whenever they become unwell. While we're on the topic of pet treats, you can buy many more using this vending machine too, including treats that can age up or age down your pets for 150 simoleons, which means that you can keep your cats and dogs young forever, or make them older if you wanted to as well. There is also an Ambrosia pet treat that costs 2,500 simoleons, and feeding this treat to a ghost cat or dog will resurrect them and bring them back to life in their non-ghost form, so you can totally use this to revive your pet. The final treat I want to mention is the Poop Randomizer treat. Feeding this to your cat or dog technically gives them an illness which will see them poop out either rainbow or gold poop. I know, wild. But what's more is that if your pet starts pooping out gold poop, there's a chance that from time to time, they could also let slip a gold bar which is worth 6,006 simoleons. So yes, your pets might not be able to have a career, but they can still make you loads of money, just through their poo. Note that you can also use the Medicine craft o -Matic to craft treats too, with more available to make at higher veterinarian skill levels. Now if you love kittens just as much as you love cats, then you might be interested in cat breeding. If you have a good relationship with your cat and they haven't been spayed or neutered, then you'll be able to encourage them to mate, which if successful, can see your cat become pregnant and eventually have kittens. Also know that adding the breeding ground trait to your lot can also increase the amount of kittens that your cat has as well, and it can be so cute to raise a little family of kittens. It is also worth noting that you can have your cat spayed or neutered at a vet or by using the pet surgery station, just in case your cat having babies didn't quite appeal to you. 
Now, while you can't teach cats tricks the same way that you can teach dogs tricks, cats will still be able to interact with pet obstacles and run through pet obstacle courses. And so in this way, cats can help their owners to train up the pet training skill, only not quite as easily as dogs can. More importantly is that you can help to train your cat to behave in certain ways by paying attention to their behavior and choosing to either scold or lecture them when they do something wrong. For example, if they're eating human food, jumping on counters, playing in trash, scratching furniture, or going to the bathroom in places that they're not supposed to. While a lecture or scold isn't always successful, if it is successful, then it will help to shape your cat's future behavior. And if you lecture or scold a cat for doing something enough, then they'll unlearn that misbehavior and stop doing it. In my opinion, getting a cat to learn to stop scratching furniture is a must, while other behaviors are more so nice to have. It is also worth keeping in mind that you might like it when your cat does certain behaviors and so you can just ignore when your cat does things that you don't want to train them to stop doing. How your cat behaves is also influenced by their traits, and a cat will have three traits out of a possible 17. Let's take a quick look at all of them and how they affect your cat. Affectionate cats love their owners and will be more friendly and stay closer to them, and they'll also get 25% more satisfaction points from feel the love interactions. You can also pet affectionate cats for a decent boost to your social need. Aloof cats won't hang out around or care about their owners as much. You can also let them out, whereby they'll leave the house, care for themselves and do their own thing for a little while. Clever cats will learn behaviors faster and thus are easier to train. You'll also be able to have intellectual discussions with them. Curious cats are more interested in their surroundings and will often become focused on objects or appliances around the house. Sometimes you can also ask them, what's that? Which will help to entertain their curiosity. Fluffy cats need to be brushed regularly. Otherwise, they'll start leaving hair piles all over the floor, which is a little bit annoying to deal with. Basically, they're just prone to making a big mess. Free spirit cats will love to wander around the world, rather than simply staying in the house all the time, and every now and then I found that they just disappear into a rabbit hole at night for a bit before returning the next day. Friendly cats are kinder to other sims and will even greet them. Frisky cats get excited around other cats and they also love to pounce and run around. Glutton cats eat much more than other cats, and on top of this they are much messier eaters. On top of this you can give glutton cats a big treat for 10 simoleons rather than a regular sized treat. Lazy cats are much calmer and love to just hang around and nap about, and they also won't jump about as much as other cats. Mischievous cats will muck up much more often, whether that be playing in trash or scratching furniture, so they are real troublemakers. You'll also be able to click on them and choose to encourage their misbehavior too, which is handy for getting your cat to cause a bit of chaos. Playful cats, as you might expect, love playing, and this includes with toys and the laser pointer. Prowler cats can be sent prowling, and this will see them go roaming about. Oftentimes, during their roams, a prowler cat will find and bring back a little gift for your sim too, which can be so much fun to receive. Just know that while prowling, your cat can also be sprayed by skunks or bit by squirrels, so there is a potential downside to this as well. Skittish cats will get scared a lot more often than usual, and can often be found hiding around the place. You will also have the social option to scare them too, which is a mischief interaction that can train up your sim's mischief skill. Spoiled cats are harder to train because they rarely react or learn behaviors from being scolded, meaning that you'll want to lean more towards the friendly lecture interactions instead. Talkative cats enjoy yowling along with other sims, and on top of this you can request a song with them to see them try and sing to you, which is very cute. Territorial cats are protective of their territory and will often be aggressive towards anyone new that they meet, even attacking them out of nowhere, which can be kind of fun in a way and it does work really well for guard dogs. Now let's talk about catnip. You can purchase catnip herb packets in buy mode or from a planter box, and opening these gives you various catnip plants. There are four in total, and giving these to your cat can spark various effects for them. Regular catnip will boost your cat's energy and make them super hyper and see them run around like crazy for a little while. Madnip will make your cats very angry and also a little bit aggressive for a period of time. Then there's Nuzzlenip which will make your cat friskier and much more open to doing saucy cat things for a little while. 
And finally, there's Napnip, which can help to calm your cat and get them to go to sleep. Now, we've covered a lot of cat things, but I did want to share some quick tips that weren't covered to finish up. Firstly, if you have robot vacuums, then cats will love to hitch a ride on these. And seeing them do so is kind of the cutest thing ever. So all the more reason to get a robot vacuum if you've got a cat. Next is that the Cats and Dogs expansion pack brings with it pet doors and these can be great to make use of to help your pets get around. Moving on, and if you have the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack, then cats will often poke around and play with yarn baskets, even knocking wool out of them, which is just a bit cute. Something that's hugely helpful to make use of is the Feel the Love interaction, which can be used on pets that you're close with from time to time to gain 100 satisfaction points. If you choose to become a companion with your pet, then this will double to 200 satisfaction points. And and on top of this, if your cat has the affectionate trait, then you'll get a 25% boost, which can see you gain 250 satisfaction points from a single Feel the Love interaction. And this is great in helping your sim to get satisfaction point rewards. Next, know that cats might run away from time to time, and if this happens, then you'll want to use your phone or a computer to post a pet alert, as this will make it so that your cat returns home faster. Moving on, and if your sim is in a sad mood, then they'll be able to confide problems to or give a comforting hug to cats that they're close with, which will help to make their sad moodlets go away faster. Next up is that you'll likely notice flocks of birds around Brindleton Bay, and you can command your cat to chase these. Doing so will often see them bring you back a pile of feathers, which can then be opened to get three feathers from the feather collection. Next, cats can sometimes obsess over random objects around the house, like your fridge. Also know that if you have the Realm of Magic game pack, then you can make cats become your spellcaster's familiar. Moving on, and you can use the Cat Hangout Lot trait to attract stray cats to a lot. You can also use the Cat Friendly Lot trait on community lots to attract cat owners and their cats to a lot. And finally, if you plan on playing with cats or pets a lot, then consider the Friend of the Animal's Aspiration. Completing this gives your sim the animal whisperer trait, which makes it easier to train and discipline animals, and it will also allow you to build relationships with them faster. And with that, we're at the end. That's everything that you need to know about cats in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and I hope that you have an amazing day. See you later!